closer. I'm just uh, preparing my little nifty uh, bioptimizers travel pill container so I can do drugs on the go. The bag of the traveling biohacker. Hold this up a minute. Hacking my morning coffee. I've got a peppermint knickknack here. I'm gonna let it dissolve. Oh, what the fuck? In the coffee. <laughs> you don't like that? No. <laughs> I'm here at the biohacking congress and uh, we get 30 minutes for lunch but i decided i'm going to skip that and fast all day to maximize time here and uh, talk with people so to get me through that I'm taking a shot of ketone iq bdnf brain drive neurotropic factor another neurochemical it's primarily known for neuroplasticity so how well you develop neural connections and these synapses that connect your neural pathways in the brain. So both pleasure and reward are what gets you there. And you can choose either path because you don't need both. And this is where we often coach people that if you're stuck in this pleasure seeking mode, or if you feel like you don't have enough pleasure, which could cause depression, anxiety, and various other problems, let's try building some reward. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Your brain doesn't care if it's a 10 out of 10 reward or a 2 out of 10 reward, just getting over the threshold of accomplishing gives you that dopamine hit. We are 90% water. Hard to believe if I look at myself, but it's true and we all kind of know that. But then behind water and everything, you know, physical that we see, it's 99% space. Yeah. However, that 99% space isn't empty. It's, it's just not physical or material but it's there's quantum energy behind it we have a microwave oven in our house i've never used it i'm not against microwaves in fact in college i used to stand like two inches away and watch my popcorn pop you know yeah. and then i discovered that i was basically radiating my brain because there's no there's no filter on that on that oven yeah. and the microwaves are sixty thousand times stronger than the microwaves that come from the from the sun energy <laughs> So we have that bubble on top, that's the lymphatic, um, that slimy gray underneath there, that's a little bit of mucus. Let's see, we have friends. Um, you got a couple little babies, yeah, you got a couple babies over there. Um, it's not, they're not quite as big as the other guys, but you do have a few little parasites. A little bit of candida, sugar junkie, carbohydrate, holic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rinse you off foot by foot. Do not cross your legs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cooking up dope in the crock pot and also recording. <clears throat> so he's making his breakfast. We got uh, eggs. Are there eggs coming? Yeah. Eggs, bacon, and uh, burgers. And we just finished a uh, blood orange. Got that vitamin C in. Mm. All right. What's up? We're here at the well with my new friend Joe. What's up, guys? Introduce yourself. Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Joe. Interview right now. <laughs> Pressure on. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, this is one of the best restaurants that I've ever 
obscene. This is one of the only restaurants that's that meets my standards. They don't cook with seed oils. Everything on here is uh, organic, 100% gluten-free kitchen. They got grass-fed beef, pasture-raised chicken bone broth, which is actually what I'm getting. Uh, just kidding, they were out of that. I'm getting the, <laughs> the roasted beef bone broth and the grass-fed Texas Wagyu sirloin. So if you're ever in Austin, Texas, uh, highly recommend checking out the well. Get outside, naked, feet planted in the ground, reduce inflammation, get vitamin D, boost testosterone, tan, look sexy as fuck. Onward. <laughs> What's up, captains? I'm here with my friend Samuel Thomas Gordon Johnson. He's a men's health and fitness coach, and he's going to lead us through an upper body, chest, and back workout today, specifically focused on muscle building. Tell us what we got going on. That's right, guys. A lot of the time, the biggest mistake I see being made in the gym is people not driving enough effort on their lifts to actually create adaptation. Adaptation is what is required to build muscle, and if you're not working hard enough on your sets, guess what? you're not gonna build any more muscle. So that is exactly what we're gonna be focusing on in today's workout. So let's get it. Know you're at the cool people's house and there's red light <laughs> hack your circadian rhythm turn off all overhead lights only red light all right guys welcome to our protein shake creation of course we're making them underneath the red light so that our circadian rhythms are not getting disrupted shout out to gimba red use code captain morgan get these for yourself there we go um and then in our protein shake the base is always going to be raw milk we don't we don't play around with conventional <laughs> pasteurized shit. If we're gonna drink milk, it's coming straight from the teat. It's gonna be raw milk. And then uh, with every protein shake I make, I always put at least five grams of creatine in it. Creatine is great for improving strength and it's also really good for cognitive function. A lot of studies are coming out talking about the importance of, importance of creatine for overall mental health. Vegans are chronically deficient in creatine, which is why they're stupid. Yeah, number one, don't be vegan. Number two, if you are vegan, make sure you're supplementing with creatine. Yes. And then, when it comes to a whey protein powder, I like finding a clean whey protein isolate because it absorbs very quickly and, and uh, particularly look for something without an, a bunch of additional ingredients. So I like a scent protein. And our ingredient list here is whey protein, cocoa, sea salt, and stevia extract. So, it's good stuff. Good shit. Cheers. Found some good shit in there or what? Yeah, we got 100% vegetable oil. It's healthy because it's vegetable oils. Rich in omega-3. <clears throat> That's a fucking lie. <laughs> it's the opposite of what it is. We got some original syrup. Notice it doesn't say maple syrup because you look at the back. And the first ingredient is corn syrup and then high fructose corn syrup. Mmm. Yummy. Another one. Original syrup. Corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> Nasty ass. 